Hey friend, welcome to Grounded, the vestibular podcast. I'm Dr. Madison Oak, aka the Vertigo Doctor. I am the vestibular physical therapist who is here to help you with all things dizziness, imbalance, and vertigo. In this podcast, we explore the fascinating world of vestibular disorders. Come with me as we dive headfirst into a journey to discover the mysteries of the brain, the inner ear, and the balance mechanisms that keep us grounded. Whether you've been managing dizziness for one day or 25 years, we're going to get real about what it takes to manage dizziness, handle the anxiety cycle, and thrive, not just survive, with your vestibular disorder. First, I want to remind you that this is never medical advice. Remember, this podcast is for informational purposes only and may not be the best fit for you and your personal situation. It shall not be construed as medical advice. The information and education provided here is not intended or implied to supplement or replace professional medical treatment advice and or diagnosis. Always check with your own physician, medical professionals, and healthcare team before trying or implementing any information found here. Meet me in your coziest chair while we navigate the highs and lows, the twists and turns of the vestibular universe. Welcome to Grounded. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome today to today's solo episode, you guys. I want to read you a win. Josie's win this week says, weekly win. I played Legos on the floor with my six-year-old son several days this week. We usually play on the table, which is easier for me, but there's so much more room on the carpet. I did the first day with my back against the wall until I got comfortable and then was able to ground when necessary as per the how to play with kids on the floor video. Thanks for this one, Dr. Madison. I was able to increase my time on the floor with him daily and it got easier over time. Over time. I also made sure my mind to mind my posture, stretch, move my legs so I didn't get stiff. I didn't realize how long it had been since we played on the floor together and this was such a nice change and so much fun. I love this win. First of all, I always love a mom win. I cannot be stopped. I literally love them. And second of all, I love that she's using the content in vestibular group fit to her advantage. Some people will join group and be like, this didn't work. And then we'll, I'll be like, okay, well, I can see in here that you didn't watch any of the content or it's only been like a week or so. Josie has been in group for months and months now and uses the content to her advantage. And I absolutely love that. She also asks for help when she needs in the Facebook group and like reaches out and things. And truly it cannot be done better than this. Like using the content to your advantage, reaching out when you need help, you will get better. You will feel better. Vestibular group fit works. 85% of people who participate in the content start to feel better in the first 45 days. That's huge, like absolutely huge progress. And so knowing that going into this and saying like, okay, I'm going to commit myself to this time, to this work, you'll feel better. So congrats to Josie. Really excited for you. Uh, Post a picture. If you hear this, post a picture of what you built in group. I can't wait to see it. Alrighty, my friends, today we are talking about tips and tricks for nausea. Nausea is one of those symptoms that goes along with vestibular disorders like peanut butter and jelly. And it's frustrating because it's, it's one of those things that's like, there's not like a specific thing usually that happens, but I shouldn't say that happens. Like it's one of those symptoms that people find really difficult to treat. That being said, there are definitely options. So nausea can happen for quite a few different reasons, but the vestibular system can send signals to the brain about your movement and body position. And when this is disrupted or if there's a sensory mismatch, nausea often is the result of that. Um, It can also be the result of vagus nerve issues. One of my recommendations, we'll talk about what to do about that. Um, But basically like your brain is interpreting sensory conflict and nausea is the result, both because of the autonomic or automatic nervous system, as well as the um, vagus nerve. And then there's some stuff to say that um, disturbances also lead to releases of neurotransmitters like histamine and acetylcholine. um, And this also plays a role in regulating nausea and vomiting. So these are all things to consider. Now, regardless of why you're having it, what's going on, all of the things, the first thing to know is 
what to do about it. How do I have some stuff for nausea as a part of my toolkit? So I have a list here for you of things to try for nausea and uh, you can talk to your doctor about these. As always, this is never medical advice. And so I reckon, I recommend uh, to, uh, obviously always talking to your doctor um, about what may or may not be going on. So first thing is first. The first thing you want to try is blistlets. Now, these are little wristbands. Um, there are also electronic ones. Uh, I will remember the name. Uh, but basically, they press press on an acupressure point, oh, a relief band. Um, so blistlets and relief band. Blistlets are the ones that have like this acupressure point. It goes around your um, wrist. There are also other options on Amazon that are cheaper, but the blistlets ones are cuter, so I like them better. Um, and it basically presses on this acupressure point on your wrist, and it reduces the amount of nausea. Relief band and emetherm both do the same thing as well. Um, but they do it with a stimulation rather than an acupressure. Um, I do believe all of these, I'm just writing these down to make sure I link them. Uh, I do believe that all of these have some sort of um, return policy. So if you don't like them for whatever reason, you can always uh, have another option. Next is going to be B6 or folate. This is a pregnancy hack, um, but people during pregnancy, you need to be taking folate and B6 anyways. Um, however, that being said, it can be really helpful for nausea. So that's something to consider as well as always. Next is um, ginger and mint, peppermint, spearmint, and ginger, either in the capsule or in tea form or like ginger beer form. Try to get one with low sugar because blood sugar regulation is something we're going to talk about that's important. Um, all of those things are super, super, super vital to making sure that you are not making the nausea worse, um, but can also be really awesome for settling your stomach. Next is eating morning protein. Now, a lot of you will tell me, I don't feel hungry in the morning. I just feel nauseous. A lot of that actually is because you um, don't feel like, or you don't feel like eating. Therefore, your stomach acid gets too acidy, I guess, not acidy. I'm not a dietitian, um, but your stomach acid has some stuff going on with it. And therefore you get more nauseous. So I actually find that when my patients start eating first thing in the morning, they actually start to feel less nauseous and a lot better. So definitely give that a shot. Next is going to be walking. Now I know everyone's like, I don't want to walk because I don't feel good. Why would I want to walk right now? But actually going on a walk will start to suppress dizziness or suppress nausea, uh, that movement, the fresh air, fresh air is another one, but getting out, getting your body moving, reminding yourself you're safe. That is something that can really, really, really be helpful. If it's too hot or too cold, you can try it on a treadmill. Um, getting fresh air, if you're in a car or on a plane, um, putting the AC on you or cracking a window can also be really helpful for nausea. Um, that is just, I think that's like a, not a hot take, but is really, really, really helpful. Okay, next one is uh, distracting yourself. Sometimes this works, sometimes this does not work. But sometimes this works, distraction can be key, thinking about something else or doing something else uh, that takes your full attention. Balancing breath from Ruel. I love this, I swear by this. I get really plain sick, especially in turbulence. I am not a fan. Um, but Ruel, you can use code Vertigo Doc. It will get you 15% off as always. Ruel is fantastic. I swear by this stuff. Like I, this is what I take on the plane. Everywhere I go, I put it in my little fanny pack. And I like, I always tell Jill, the owner, I like harass her for this. I like, I just like literally like, stick it almost up my nose and like huff it. Like it is the only thing that relieves my on plane. Not that I try any medication, but like my on plane nausea. Medications for nausea um, and supplements would be ginger capsules, 
And then Zofran. Zofran is a medication that was designed for people who are going through cancer chemotherapy treatment who get really nauseous. So it is one that melts on your tongue. You don't have to swallow it. It kicks in pretty quickly um, and it suppresses the nausea. It is fantastic. I also tell some of my patients, and of course, talk to your doctor if you're going to do this, but I tell my patients that if they're getting treated for BPPV and they tend to be pretty nauseous during the treatment or tend to throw up during the treatment, that they should take Zofran ahead of time. You cannot and should never take um, a medication like a benzodiazepine or a meclizine or any of those before getting treated for BPPV because that will suppress your nystagmus and it's harder for us to treat in those cases um because we can't see which ways your eyes are moving and therefore we can't really treat the exact correct canal all the time so i don't ever recommend that but um i do recommend taking zofran sometimes because it will just suppress the nausea but you will still have the um nystagmus which means we can treat it um and then lemon water or lemon by itself sparkling water can be awesome deep breathing, meditation. I already said walking, but I can't stress this enough. And then vagus nerve stimulation. Vagus nerve stimulation is awesome. Um, Truvaga and Gamacore are typically the ones that I recommend that most of my patients have tried. Uh, they are technically exactly the same thing, but Gamacore has um, FDA approval for migraine, whereas uh, Truvaga is more lifestyle, but again, they're the same thing. Um, and so those can be really helpful. You can kind of look into which one might be right for you. It helps with the vagus nerve stimulation and um, therefore will help uh, with the nausea. Okay. If you guys want more tips and tricks for dizziness, for vertigo, for nausea, for all of the things, you know where to find it. You know where to find me. Vestibular Group Fit is definitely the option for you. Vestibular Group Fit is going to cover all of your bases when it comes to dizziness, vertigo, uh, chronic symptoms, panic, dizzy, anxious, dizzy cycle, all of the things we have got it for you. So join us in vestibular group fit is just $70 a month. I love you. And I will see you there. Use code grounded at checkout for 15% off. So even less of your first subscription cycle. I love you. The link is below. Uh, the nausea does get better. The symptoms do get better. I promise you this gets better. You just need the right tools and vestibular group fit has every single tool you need. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.